Okay. So if I if I tried to go back, you probably wouldn't let me, right? No, you would. Is there any reason for me to be back here? Uh okay, I don't know how to destroy it. Great. But I know how to get to the other one, apparently. Um I'm still unsure about the whole voice thing. Ooh, shortcut scenes. Now that sounds like something I would enjoy. Uh maybe we'll do a dubbing thing. Just because it's really it's really weird for me to not be saying anything while they're speaking in Japanese. So we'll try this for now for the next few cutscenes and see how it feels to be voicing everything and everyone, because I, I mean, unless there was an option to <laughs> enable English audio, but there is not, which is fine. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, okay, hold on. I don't know. Materialized in the Digilab later and made into allies. Okay. Um, this is gonna be awkward, uh, because I don't know if this should count as my first encounter. Also, I don't know which one would count. I guess. Oh, yeah, they're both, both Cormon. So Cormon showed up first. Uh, this is, this, this is gonna be weird, because I had, I have this whole elaborate thing set up for how I should determine if I'm allowed to get a Digimon or not, because in Pokemon, it's not guaranteed that you will get the first thing that you run into on a route. Uh, you have to catch them with Pokeballs. So, I can't catch these things with Pokeballs, so the RNG element would kind of be taken out. I've seen other people where they said the first Digimon they get to 100% is the one that they get. But that's guaranteed. Uh, and in Pokemon, if you kill the first Pokemon you run into, that's just it. You can't catch anything else on the route. So having a guaranteed scan is a little weird. So I devised a strange method. There is a chance that we will be able to catch the Digimon, or scan, convert the Digimon, based on its level. So, Coromon here, I believe, is a baby two, or an in-training, or fresh, or I, I, I don't know. It, it, Coromon should be the second stage of evolution. Um, and so, the chance that I have to catch him uh, if I, if I, if I'm reading my own notes correctly, is basically a 28% chance. And that might sound like really, that might sound really low, and it is, but... As we get further in the story, we'll have higher chances at catching Digimon, because I, I basically based whether I can catch a Digimon or not based on the catch rates from Pokemon, uh, and I, I, like, sorted them from the, the hardest to catch, which is the hardest Pokemon to catch in Pokemon have a three catch rate, and the easiest have 255. There, there, there there's, there's a lot of, a lot of factors as, as to what go, will go into whether I can get a Digimon or not. Uh, one of those things that can help influence it is whether or not I have a Digimon of a certain level already. Uh, since we have a Gurumon who is a child or a rookie level Digimon, and Koromon here is a baby 2, or in training 2, or whatever have you, uh, he is one level higher than them, so the multiplier that will be applied to this Koromon's Scan rate, convert rate, uh, will be 1.6. <laughs> I may make, like, a separate video explaining this convoluted capture process, but I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Uh, catch rates start low, uh, depending on what stage 
of Digimon I have affects the catch rate. So if I wanted to catch uh, an ultimate, for example, or a mega, I shouldn't be able to run into one at this point in time. But since I only have a child or a rookie, uh, the multiplier applied to that would be 0.2. So I would have a 0.2% chance of what the ordinary catch rate is, which for a mega, when I have no progress in the story, is 0.416. So practically impossible for me to get a mega if I were to run into one. Uh, but an in-training 2, or baby 2, again, I keep going back and forth because I don't know what they're called in this game. I don't know if they're the dub version or the original version. I should probably figure that out so I stop saying both at the same time. So for Koromon, here, he's the first Digimon we have encountered on this floor, area, level. It's very, very confusing how this is all going to work. But because I have one, I have a Digimon that is one stage higher than him. I have no progress in the story. Uh, the catch rate, the, the chance of us being able to capture a Koromon on this route, on this level, on this stage, on this floor, this dungeon is 44.8, which we will just round to 45%. I have a 45% chance of getting a Koromon, or I get nothing for this area. Great, that was all explained. Not very well. Maybe I'll make a separate video to explain it. It will probably become more clear as time goes on. I'll probably have a big thing down in the description also explaining the, the, the rules for getting a Digimon. <sighs> we, we, haven't, we haven't even found the Digilab yet and I'm already going to check to see if we are able to get this Digimon or not. I sh should probably have a way of showing this on screen. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Okay, I don't know how this looks exactly. but I will be using random.org to determine if I am allowed to catch a Digimon or not. It will be from one to a hundred. I must get lower than the number required, lower than the chance required, or I don't catch the Digimon. So for this, we must get lower than 45%. So we must get lower than a 45 or yeah, yeah, lower than 45? Counting 45? Less than or equal to 45, I think, will be correct. So, if I get less than 46, I get this Coromon. Or, I can get a Coromon. I have to scan it a lot in order to get it be... in order to be able to convert it. If not, then I don't get anything for... Or is this level 1 of Kowloon? So, let's see what happens. Okay, bad number, bad number. Um, we don't get to catch a, we don't get to convert a Koromon today, which means pretty much all that explaining I just did was entirely pointless. Uh, we will be fighting because I'm not allowed to get another Digimon. So we're, oh God. Wow, uh, you're tough. Uh, I have skills, right, that's, important uh yeah we're gonna have to kill these guys to get some xp because currently i can't get any more digimon and if a gurumon dies uh we'll, we'll put nuzlocke rules that until i get another digimon if a gurumon dies it's fine <laughs> because otherwise this nuzlocke is going to end very quickly probably because while koromon are uh, a bit stronger than I had expected. There goes one. Great. Now I have to deal with the second one. He just attacked twice. Don't like that very much. Uh, I don't have... I do have more... I do have more HP capsules. This is, this is like... This is like Neptunia, where I don't know what my skills do in terms of lag. I don't know if using one skill will put me lower in the turn order than another skill, because it seemed like Koromon just went twice in a row, and I don't know why. 
Uh, I also don't know if Coromon is weak to dark. He probably, he probably isn't. Um, but that's fine, I guess. Great, you're dead. Good job, Hagurumon. You did it. You got nothing for that. Wow. Encounters with Digimon. All kinds of Digimon lurk in the dungeons. Moving around can trigger battles as you encounter Digimon. Be sure to pay attention to the health of your party Digimon. Y yeah. Uh, noted. Because he's... He's pretty hurt already. Uh, can I... Name you, by the, by the way? Yes! Yes, I can. Give me a second while I think of a name for this guy. Okay, naming a Digimon is a bit more difficult than naming a Pokemon, because with Pokemon, I can just kind of see what the Pokemon is based on and easily come up with a name from that. Because most of that, well, it might be, might be similar to, with uh, with Digimon as, as we go on. Uh, but for Hagurumon here, he's a gear. So I'm going to make his name have to do something with a gear. Uh, here we, on, on wikipedia.org, for the page on gear, uh, under history we have the earliest preserved gears in Europe were found in the Antikythera mechanism, an early, or an example of a very early and intricate geared device designed to calculate astronomical positions. I don't really know what any of that means, but I'm going to name him after the Antikythera mechanism, so we're just going to call him Antic, or Antique. Uh... That sounds good enough for me. Antique. And I don't know what I'm going to do about a layout now that I think about it. Maybe I won't have one. Maybe I won't have a layout like you do in Pokemon Nuzlocke. Maybe I'll have something that shows up when a Digimon dies or something and is added to the, the Digimon death counter. I don't know. Again, this is all very weird. I'm not... I know how to do Pokemon Nuzlocke. I don't know how to do a Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Nuzlocke, but we're, go we're gonna find out together. Hopefully. Hopefully this doesn't go terribly. Do I have to heal you? I think I do. Yeah, yeah, I probably should. Because you're, uh... You're not doing so hot there, friend. Um... Yeah, we don't have... We do a yeah, we don't have any equipment. Uh costume. Costume? 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 I have costume? Costume? Hmm. We'll see about that. We'll see what that uh means. Hello there, hacker man. You aren't worthy of going any further yet. Once you've proven your strength and pride as a hacker, the path will open on its own. Okay, uh, whatever you say, friend. Guess I gotta go all the way around then. What do we got here? An escape gate. Cool. I need a lot of those. HP capsule C2. Also cool. So, alright. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that should be Gummymon? Or Pabumon, sorry. Pabumon should be a baby one or an in-training one. Koromon should be in-training two. Uh, I I either way, Koromon would have been our first encounter in this battle as well because he appeared first on the right, which is how I'm going to determine whether what the first encounter is. Uh... You guys, you guys hurt a lot, actually. And I'm running out of SP. Just not... Not ideal. Um... Nano Machine Break 1! Ow. Uh, well, that's not what I said to do. I hit my keyboard, and... It did, it did something that activated auto. 
Uh, my bad. Let's heal. And now we're just going to hit you with, with our gears. Because I am out of skill. Woken Palm 1. Don't like that. Um, I should probably use my SP capsule. <sighs> yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's get up to speed here. Hit. Hit. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. This, this battle won't give me much XP either, but that's fine. It's something. Oh, God. Yes, thank you for, for that. Uh, what, what, what's, what's the guy's name? Anata? Anaka? Kana? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't quite remember. We gotta find him. We gotta find him. So I don't know if I can skip animations. I, I chose short animations, which is good. But... I don't know if I can skip them all together. If I can, like, hold something that does that? It doesn't seem so. Hmm. Don't do that again, please! I'm getting some HP capsules from them, which is good because I use them immediately in the battle. Uh, does this do more damage? No. No, it does the same. Please stop. Please stop with the crits. Hooray! Scan complete! That's great, but I cannot use him because... Randomizer said so. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. I press so it. Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? I don't know. You know what is a thing? Saving. Love saving. Love saving. I should probably stop the recording at some point, but I feel like we haven't even started the game yet because I spent so long trying to explain how we capture Digimon Nuzlocke style. Which I didn't really explain all that well anyway. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Hmm. No, I don't remember that. I... Oh, right, I forgot I was supposed to be voicing them. No, not like we had met yesterday in chat or anything like that. Huh? Like... Maybe... Yeah, maybe... Something strange. Yeah, I'll say. Uh-oh. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Did, uh, did you see it? No, yeah, I died. Yeah, huh? Yeah, uh huh? Uh, again with the hacking? Honestly, what is with this place? We are in Kowloon, uh, the area known for hackers. Oh, let's go. Iran should be up ahead, right? Yes. Uh, supposedly. Not sure what that was all about. Uh, hey! It's Ghost Hugo. <laughs> See ya! Hmm. So I'm gonna have to, like, fight people, right? What was that image just now? A child? I am so weirded out. Yeah, darn it. I want to know what that was. Whoa. This really does not feel right. Ah! There it is! There! Hang on! Hey! You're running off by yourself? You can't just think about yourself, you know! Oh boy. What is that? Uh, tentacles. That's not a Digimon. Not sure what that is. Kind of looks like the ghost that we're talking about. The other half with the tentacles. Uh, yeah, nope, no idea. What is this? What's that? 
Digimon? Is that another Digimon? It can't be. The black monster of Eden people have been talking about? They say it devours your data. The... You guys, this way, run. Whatever this thing is, it's a real menace, that's for sure. Okay. You know, I'll break through the lock of this thing. Lock out to get away as fast as you can. Wait, what about you? The low I have hiccups. Not good. When I start voicing characters. <laughs> hey, I told you to run, didn't I? Go on, get out of here. Uh, oh, um. Hey. Ah. Uh... Hey, does she have two Digimon? That'd be kind of cool. Hey, it's you guys again. We'll protect you, Nokia. Nokia, get, get out of here. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, question mark? I'll fight too. Data is converging. It down. Did I just heal? I... Agumon, did you just hit him for no damage? Is that what I just read? Eater. Eater. Cool. Zip. Mm. Mm. No. No, I. Mm. Force loss? Probably forced loss. I'm gonna go with forced loss. Uh. Okay, well, th nothing happened. I, I think there are forced losses in this game. If those happen, those obviously will not count as Digimon dying. <laughs> what should we do? It's too strong. I. Why am I so weak? We have to help Nokia and the others. Hmm. You, you doing stuff over there? Okay, the lock is taken care of. You can log out. Come on, Nokia, hurry. But what about them? Don't you get it? You're holding them back. They can't do anything until you get away. Huh? Okay, bye. Hisao, oh, Nokia's locked out. I'll go next. You hurry on after us, okay? Yeah, y you know, gotcha. Um. <laughs> Whoa. Does it have me? It didn't look like it had me. It, it kind of looked like it missed. Find us. Hmm. No? Warning. An unexpected error occurred during the logout process for Hisao Aiba. The logout process cannot continue. The logout process cannot continue. The logout process cannot continue. The logout process will continue. Logout successful. See you at your next login. Thank you. Eden is a human network connecting the world to the future, run by Kamishiro Enterprises. Thanks. Probably didn't need to know that. Um, excuse me, isn't that dangerous? What's up with that kid? Yikes. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure. You there! What's with making such a scene in broad daylight? You want me to arrest you? Do you? Um, officer, over here! Who are you calling a police officer? I'm a detective! Don't judge a book by its cover! I'll arrest you! Huh? What? What the? Oh, what is that? Oh, what's going on? Ugh, that's gross! So gross, I'm going to arrest you! Right here on the spot! Uh, can the cops get on me? Uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. That's not good. Maybe it's fine. Maybe that is good. Oh, hello. You have a very interesting appearance. 
I am very curious. Handle it before it gets worse. What? Wait, did you? Ah, stop that car! Oh, I missed you! Wait, Arg? Yeah, uh, huh? Did I just get kidnapped? Yeah. I'm more used to strange phenomena than most. But I've never seen the likes of this before. Can you hear my voice? Are you able to speak? Hmm. That's good. I wasn't sure what I was going to do if you weren't human. I see. So you have no idea what it is that happened to you. Hmm. If you have questions, ask them now. I'll answer whatever I can. Uh, I feel like you would have more questions than I, but uh, who are you? Uh, where have my friends gone? No, there wasn't anyone else around, just you. You're wondering whether the same thing might have happened to your friends? Hmm, I see. I mean, they logged out, so they're probably fine. I can't tell you not to worry about them, but your first priority should be taking care of yourself. Uh, what happened to my body? It looks like your body is an extreme, is in an extreme digital state, as if it were a cyberspace avatar, yet somehow you're in the real world. If that's true, then this is a very interesting phenomenon. Hmm. Uh, where are we? You're in Shinjuku. I was out working, looking for something, when I came across you here. You might not believe that, but it's the truth. I'm headed to my agency's office in Nakano. You can tell me the details when we get there. Who are you? Who am I? Uh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I should have done that earlier, but you were such a curiosity, it completely set my mind. Sorry. I'm Kyoko Kurami. I'm just a humble detective. You certainly are. Well, we read you're a detective, but you're a different kind of detective, aren't you? We will save. I'd like to stop here, but that would kind of be awkward. So we'll wait until I'm able to run around again. I think. Chapter 1. Welcome to the Kurami Detective Agency. Yeah, am I still going to be... Me? Uh, all electric-y and digitally? Nice place. Not so nice. Hi. Yeah. I see. You've got a good grasp on the situation. Uh, can I, like, eat or drink? Or, like, what's happening here? That place in Shinjuku, the one where you appeared when you logged out from cyberspace. It's the same, or very similar to the place you logged into Eden at, isn't it? Hmm, maybe. Hmm. Well, you're here talking to me now, but it seems there's another body out there for you as well. Oh! Hopefully someone's feeding in... ...hydrating that body? Mm -hmm. Maybe your mental data was separated from your physical body and manifested in the real world independently? Or maybe your body was somehow moved to Shinjuku, where it was corrupted into the form you have now. The whole situation is entirely too peculiar, yet here you are, standing before me. As much as that shouldn't make sense. I'm sitting, thank you. At present, I can only form a simple hypothesis. We need to gather more information, and quickly. Going by the book, you should check out where you were logged into Eden. Which was where? Ah. Uh, why are you helping me? Hmm. Where are you now? You are at the Kurami Detective Agency, which has solved a number of rather bizarre cases, including cyber crimes. I can think of nobody better suited to solving the mystery of what happened to you than right here. And you're even sitting on the sofa for clients. No need to worry about compensation. Your very existence is all the payment I need. Let's pretend you've borrowed a luxury liner. Say the Mary Celeste. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's get back on track here. Where did you log in? 
But first, before we do anything else, we must do something about your appearance. You can't even walk around outside like that, and it looks pretty unstable as well. Yeah. I've had a good look, and you truly are a mass of data, a true digital body. Yet you hear my voice, sit on my sofa, talk to me, prove that you obey physical laws. A digital body with real-world characteristics. Let's call it a half-cyber body. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, that, alright, right there, I mean. If your body is comprised of data, then it could be easy to do something about your appearance, incorporate incompatible data, and make repairs. I don't know if that makes sense. You should have the same basic structure as an avatar used with an Eden. It would be excellent if there were avatar parts in the data found lying around in Kolun. Uh... The only issue is whether or not you can log in in your current state. Hmm. I mean, I could try and open a menu. That'd be weird. Am I just gonna jump into the TV? What is it? Did something happen with the television? Hmm. I've got a hunch. Now this may break your TV. But I've got a hunch. Over here. Jump! Okay. Sure. Strange voice. Hmm? Jump? I feel compelled to jump into your television! Whoa, okay, goodbye. Alright, entering the digital world. Urged on by the voice, I took a leap of faith. But what the heck happened? It looks like I can go forward after all. Okay, was that connected to the internet somehow? Digital network. This is a digital space where the information flow becomes visual due to the protagonist's cyber body. Choose your direction with the directional buttons or the L stick. Battle may be initiated, so always be on guard when moving. Okay, I get encounters in the digital network as well. Oh god. Oh, we just kind of fly. Uh, can I save here? I can. Uh... I think this is an excellent place to stop everybody. When we get back, I don't know. We'll continue on and try to figure out what's going on with our weird body in the cyberspace dimension. And along the way, we may figure out if a Nuzlocke is truly possible or not in this strange digital world. But that'll be all for next time. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.